Hi guys, my name is Xander. I'm from England. I moved here from... <laughs> I moved here from England. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from England, but I live here in LA now. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> okay, hang on. I've got to make sure my hair's okay. I'm ready. Hi, my name is Xander Hodgson. I live in LA, but I moved here from England, hence the British accent. I'm an actor and a model. I'm working in an art gallery at the moment in Beverly Hills. What else should I say? I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm starting a YouTube channel because, strangely enough, even being an actor and model, I still get uncomfortable in front of the camera. I get kind of awkward <laughs> if I'm not playing a role. I thought that this would be a better way to connect to you guys and then also as uh, actor, you get to see all of them, <laughs> rather than just <laughs> flat in a picture. So I'm just going to kick it off with some facts, since I've seen a lot of people do this on YouTube videos, and I hope you enjoy. <sighs> Fact number one. I am a sugar, ice cream, chocolate, anything sweet or holly. I will drink milkshakes till the cows come home and I will eat all the chocolate and cupcakes and ice cream in your fridge so don't invite me around. I love ice cream, cupcake. I don't know where I got it from, I think since I was a little kid. So I'm always getting a cupcake every single day which is a bad idea. Um, everyone needs to feed me. <laughs> this is me and my dad. I love um... <laughs> and as you can see, lollipops. I used to store the food um, for later in my cheeks. My last trailer. Um, but I'm hoping that I've lost it now. <laughs> I love Kate Moss. This is one of my pictures of Kate. <laughs> She's like my favorite top model. <laughs> Ever since I started modeling, I was like obsessed with her and this image that she puts forward. She's just the most amazing face ever. Around my apartment, I actually have a lot of pictures. <laughs> She's everywhere. I just think that she has the most entrancing face. Like every time I see her, she's putting forward something different. I feel like she would make a great actress. And I love that she's from Britain. She's like salt of the earth like easy to get along with like your next door neighbor but actually like she's this crazy big supermodel with amazing cheekbones. I actually drew this. This is um, a drawing I did. <laughs> and that's enough because otherwise she's gonna think I'm a freaking stalker. I actually had a dream about <laughs> No, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> no, I shouldn't tell. <laughs> I'm gonna just... Shh. When I was little, I was born with trigger thumbs, which means that your thumbs are like this, like you're about to shoot a gun. Well, my granddad thought that he could, like, help me by flicking them up, but actually it really, really hurt because there was a muscle in my thumb that was too tight. Anyway, eventually I went to go and get them operated on. It was like before my first day of school, so when I first started school, my thumbs were all bandaged up. Yeah, so that was awkward. I'm terrified of snakes, even grass snakes. I don't know where it came from, I think maybe from the Bible. I have been programmed to be terrified of snakes. I feel like snakes are always scary. If I saw a grass snake, I would probably freak out. In films, they're always trying to attack you. There's never like a cute film about a snake or something like that. I love playing pranks on people. I love like sneaking up behind people and scaring them. One time, there was a new guy at work and I pretended that he had a ticket on his car. And I told him, oh my god, you got a ticket, I can't believe it. And then he like looks at the piece of paper and there's nothing actually on there. He's like, damn it, Xander! Because <laughs> everyone knows I always do it. 
ever since I was little, I would always draw people. I would draw people on the subway and then they would catch on to it. They would be like, well, then they would ask me afterwards to see the portrait, which I really enjoy. It really relaxes me and I need to get back into that because you can easily get caught up in day-to-day -day life and not do your hobby. I actually have discovered living in LA that I love to dance, even if I'm not that good at it. It gets me like out of my head and always like, you know, the voice that makes you judge yourself all the time and just gets me like really into my body and I love music so it's the best way to... That's all for now and I'll see you on my next video. No. Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs>